Welcome Necro Posters and crew, I'm the Body Counter. I've slacked off a bit when it comes to shitpost Sundays, so to make up for that, I bring you a new discussion video on Motive Studio's latest Dead Space Remake art developer livestream. Just like the previous videos, I'll be covering the things I and others in the Dead Space Necro Posting Discord server saw that weren't pointed out by the developers. Since I'll only be covering what wasn't mentioned by the devs, I'll leave a link to the full stream in the description below in case you wanted to watch the whole thing for yourselves afterwards. Also, if you spot anything that I haven't listed, be sure to point it out in the comments below. Now for some of these discussion points, I'll remind you that some of these details I point out are just concept art images, so they may be subject to change. With all of that out of the way, let's jettison this slasher. Michael! Don't leave me here! <laughs> Michael! When the devs were showing off a few remake models for the game, we got to see the Ripper's new design, and something that Helios Max pointed out is that a miniature Kinesis module is now visible on top of the tool. This is an accurate design choice given that the Rippers in the Dead Space games when using the primary fire kept the blade tethered in front of the user using the same method as the Kinesis module. I have nothing of substance to say about this, it's just the power node. In this concept image, above the door to the room where Nicole took her own life, Oh, shit, spoiler! <laughs> there seems to be a Kinesis required mechanism above the door, which was previously protected by some glass. Theories for this include it being a special door locking mechanism. It was certainly an interesting find given that the room in the original game required the player to open the door using a power node, yet no power node lock mechanism is visible. Now I wouldn't want to get anyone's hopes up, since it is just concept art and using placeholder art within concept art is common, but in this particular concept, alongside the distant lumbering divider in the background, <laughs> we have a puker from Dead Space 2. Whether this is just a placeholder necro for the image, or a sign that they want to implement some Dead Space 2 necromorphs into the remake, remains unknown. I ain't no medical expert like the Chad that is Roanoke Gaming, but this possible thermal x-ray imaging scan is seen, detailing some whack-ass half-breed slasher that was too lazy to sprout a blade from its other arm. The old Dead Space games loved their medical images of necromorphs, so seeing a new necro imaging is very nice. And since I'm on the same picture, looks like Motive forgot to install Counter-Strike Source for this log. <laughs> It's hard to make out and isn't the main focus of this scene, but it's possible this is the first visible appearance of the remake's corruption tainted oh. floors, most likely in a testing area to fiddle with Isaac's special walking animations he has when walking on the gunk, and or other interactions with either Isaac or the environment. This one's for all them engineers. He sees your comments and they make him gurgle. He's lurking and he's stalking when you least expect- I noticed that this slasher was actually tracking Isaac wherever he moved by moving its head. Something subtle and creepy to see on one necromorph, and I can't wait to see other remake necros have this intense head tracking glare when seeing Isaac. The inside of Isaac's helmet is going to have way more detail in the remake, with the inside of the helmet interior having an earmuff headphone piece for better communication with others and noise protection. One of my predictions from my first Dead Space remake ideas and predictions video has been confirmed, that being foreign matter such as dirt and blood being splattered on Isaac's suit most likely depending on the location and situation he finds himself in, such as fighting a horde of necromorphs or walking through a corruption-filled hallway. As spotted by Helios Max and the community manager of the remake, Sakaar, on the Discord server, some file names within the engine were given unique names, such as In Michael Altman We Trust, and Fog Asset spelling out the funny Nicole is Dead reference. We've already heard a verbal mention of the USM Valor, but during the stream, we got a very brief look at the USM Valor's mess hall, a clear sign that they're well into developing the later chapters of the game, all the while they tease us with the earlier chapter content. During their showcase of some engineering deck concept art images, one particular image stood out, that being the fuel storage concept. Unlike the other images in the slideshow, this details an area we never visited in the original game. There was never a giant fan zero gravity area in chapter 3, so this could either be just a concept image, or this is a preview of a new area within chapter 3 we'll be able to explore in our mission to refuel the USG Ishimura's engines. In the final livestream preview of the engine room, we got a visual of the Timson Tools logo. Timson Tools was a tool manufacturing competitor to Schofield Tools, with their most memorable design being the Javelin Gun from Dead Space 2. Could be a universe building reference? Could be undeniable proof that we're going to pin Leapers to the walls for their crimes against the CEC with the Dead Space remake Javelin Gun. And 
And that brings us to an end for what I spotted within the Dead Space Remake art livestream. I hope you enjoyed. If you saw something that wasn't in this list, feel free to share it in the comments below. Like this video if you learned something new and can't wait for the Dead Space Remake. If you aren't a part of the community yet, join the Dead Space Necro posting Facebook group and Discord in the description below for your fill of Dead Space memes, banter, and laughs. Subscribe to keep up to date on future Dead Space Remake coverage, and as always, make us whole again.